Okay, so um, just some basic stuff on that. Let's just add some materials to this now to make it look nice. Um, if I select the, I can select the floor, right click, and probably the best thing to do is um, first coat it, coat the whole thing with one texture. So select one of the planes and then do uh, select, select all, and everything is now selected. Every plane of everything that's in our map is selected and then here we can search for um, I don't know, let's say stone right and then look here and you'll find a stone look cobblestones brick hewn or whatever or let's go with brick brick like that again you want this content folder so you're searching all the subfolders for brick right and um, here's different brick things. So look, M shell brick, for example, and then all these planes are selected. Drag this M shell brick and just drop it, and everything will be coated with that brick. Okay, now that everything's coated, it's got a brick on everything. Let's do the floor. Just select just the floor, and search for flag stone, and then just with the floor selected, drag the flagstone in, drop it, and just the floor has flagstones now, like that. You see. That's just absolute basics, right? So look now. Play from here. Now we've got a flagstone floor and all the walls brick. Or whatever you want. Okay. Yeah. Alt. Tap on Alt to release. One thing that I found that's quite interesting with this is if you decide to change some coating, some whatever you want to call this, let's go with um, stone. I select this wall, for example, and I can choose this, say, castle stone, let's say. Drag it on, and that's got the castle stone on, but no, the other walls have. But once you've dropped castle stone onto one of the walls, if you then click on that surface and shift and click, it adds the same material to that. Select that surface, shift and click, it adds the, surf the same material to that. Let's go around here. Ooh, come on. Oh. Um, select that shift and click it adds it's adding the same material whatever material I last added if I then shift and click on different surface um, planes it adds that same last dropped material to anything you shift and click on come on shift select shift and click I like that shift and click select shift and click and let's do inside the door select shift and click come across come down in a bit yeah there we are look select shift and click let's do the underside of the door select shift and click and look back down from the top let's do this top of the wall select select shift and click on that top of the wall there select shift and click so now the top of all the inner room walls all right the door inside come on inside the door edges and all the outer walls are covered in that stone oh well, I missed one select shift and click all right they're all covered in escape so deselect those are all covered in the stone but it's still the brick on the inside, see what I mean? That's something that seems to happen. You drop a texture onto any surface, and then from then on, if you select another surface, shift and click, it will apply that same texture to the, any other surface you shift and click until you change to doing something else, right? Okay, there's another little something I've learnt. 